everyone. Today I'm going to be making a coffee table from an old trunk I found at the thrift store and it's a perfect example of how you can have something stylish and one of a kind in your home for very little money. My husband and I had already decided we were going to build our own coffee table out of wooden pallets and we were literally on our way to pick up those pallets when we decided to poke our heads into the thrift store and this was inside. I absolutely love it. Now considering how old it is, it's actually in pretty good shape. I mean there's a little bit of rust here and there uh, but I actually like that because it adds character. Also you'll notice in the sides the leather uh, handles have broken apart over the years but that's an easy fix as well. In fact while we were still at the thrift store we picked up this leather belt and we can just cut it up and just put it there in its place. Also we want to put some legs on this uh, coffee table so we bought a uh, nightstand that was really rather ugly but it had these really cool legs on there and it was twelve dollars so we bought the nightstand unscrewed the legs, kept the legs, and then donated the nightstand right back to the thrift store. So basically, we're getting all four of these for about $12, when if we had bought these at the hardware store, they would easily be over $12 a piece. Now, even though I'm going to paint this, the first thing I needed to do was figure out how to attach the legs. Now, you'll notice that there's these wood slats that go across that are about a quarter of an inch thick, and I need this to be completely flush in order to screw the legs in. So I found this wood here in the shop just laying around and I cut it to size. It'll fit right between the slats. I'll pre-drill a hole here and then screw the legs on. You could leave it just like this or you can throw a piece of glass on top and call it done. But as I mentioned earlier, I do want to fix the leather handles and as much as I love this funky green color, I'm going to paint it because it clashes with my living room. I applied two coats of this dark espresso stain on the legs to get the look I wanted. Then I clear coated it with polyurethane and let it dry overnight. Now all I have to do is screw in the legs, take this inside, put a glass top on it and call it done. to believe that only a few days ago this old trunk sat in the thrift store because here it is as just the perfect coffee table in my living room. We changed it from that green kind of 
strange uh, color to more of a turquoise color. We screwed in some legs, we repaired the handles using an old leather belt, and we just topped it all with a piece of glass. So we took something old, we repurposed it, and made it something new. I hope you were inspired by this tutorial. Be sure to check out my other blog entries at Murals by Marcy on Facebook and muralsbymarcy.com. Thanks for watching.